वॉट इज द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ सेलिब्रेटिंग जन्माष्टमी वॉट इज द डीपर मीनिंग ऑफ दिस डे जन्माष्टमी द डे वन लॉर्ड कृष्ण वॉज बॉर्न इज अ डे फुल ऑफ सिग्निफिकेंस फुल ऑफ होप इट गिव जस होप गिव जस समथिंग टू ड्रीम अबाउट इट अश्योर्स एस that the great personality is always there with us having great personality with us it only means we will be supported in all our rightful actions righteous actions if we follow the dharma then his assistance is always there his help is always there he will always side with dharmic people this is the greatest hope and assurance from the lord himself and i protect all those who are on the path of dharma it automatically means that those who are on the path of dharma he is not part to them he will not protect them in fact he would be happy to destroy them what is your fondest memory of janmashtami my fondest memory as a child of janmashtami was staying awake until 12 o'clock night just i mean 5 or 6 years of age when i was asked to at least carry that on my shoulder and walk around the streets of my village and having brought that julana back to the temple i was requested by the pujari the priest of our temple to julana julai so we had to make that swing move and play with lord krishna small id that's one of my fondest memory and of course to distribute the prasad specially made on this occasion that day even though we were all younger children we fasted and perhaps that was the first fast of my life could you share a few words about krishna and kans it is said that kans was also liberated even though he tried to do evil is it true what to say uh, when krishna had to unfortunately kill his own mama mother's brother people have a belief that whosoever gets killed by the lord himself will get liberated but i doubt it very much I doubt if he was actually liberated. I mean, the Kansha. What is the most important teaching from Lord Krishna or from the Bhagavad Gita? There are so many. It's not just one. There are many, many very important, very crucial uh, learnings that we have to uh, accept and imbibe and make it part of our life. Number one. If the Lord may reveal His form, He may grant us darshan. But if you see Arjun, despite of being shown gracefully that darshan by the Lord, He requests him to come back to his friendlier form because that form was quite fearsome. On the battlefield, there is Drona watching that form, Vishma Pitama. is also watching lord krishna vishwarup now the catch here is arjun still was not very convinced until krishna transmitted to him and somehow elevated his super consciousness and made him aware of his duty what about the others we say having darshan of the lord gives you wisdom but did these two great guys drona and vishma pitama learn anything from vishwarup darshan no if they could have been enlightened at least they could have been enlightened with this knowledge with the wisdom that let us not fight with the lord himself let us surrender let us drop our weapons and follow the path of dharma 
this is one lesson second lesson that i have learned from mahabhar war and especially from the life of lord krishna um, telling bhishma pitama his folly the same time similar thing also happens in ramayana with dasrath both bhishma and dasrath are head bent on fulfilling their promise promises may be great but to fulfill in a way that will incur a loss to somebody else i cannot assume such responsibility my fulfilling of a promise should not destroy somebody else some third party this arrogance was there in both pran jaye par vachan nahi jaye this arrogance absolute arrogance on the part of dasrath he could have said to kaikai i am sorry i cannot fulfill if you have to ask something from me you can ask from me personally ram our my son it is still his life i cannot ask him to go to a forest this is wrong similarly promise of bhishma hastinapur is a physical entity what is he going to protect while destroying the entire generation of princes what do you get out of it if he had some sense he could have sided with the dharma and still protect hastinapur so one should not be head bent once with with one's own arrogance and say come what may i will fulfill my words that's a foolishness another one i learned from lord krishna's life you know he says so many things and one of the finest thing is says that i dwell in every heart of all living beings that means if i want to experience lord himself look within look in your heart so he himself has given his postal address the heart with the yogi pashyasi look myself in your heart and where are we looking for the lord our vision has always been outward here and there in holy places while forgetting his claim lord krishna's claim that i dwell in every heart our shastra also talks about the same thing in a different way that the lord is an antaryamin one who dwells within instead of becoming antahmukhi we have become bahirmukhi and that is the cause of fall of hindu civilization is think over it.